for love God, if you have IQ software, you know, the RGB light software, uninstall immediately. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the IQ software. Uh, anything that you control from Corsair, um, RGB lights, anything that has RGB lights. Of course, you've seen the software, you probably use it. Um, most of us have gone through a lot of problems with these softwares, from crashing to anything from stuttering. Um, as far as me, all my lights keep either just pausing or stopping, and then my computer completely crashes. Now, I've tried so many methods as to why my computer started crashing. I um, downloaded some files, I pretty much restarted my computer, um, even rebooted to a certain point in my time in Windows, but nothing happened. So what I did is I literally just erased everything, started all over again, um, reinstalled Windows, and everything was great, you know? And I didn't even think about it, you know? Why would a software do that much damage to my PC? At the end of the day, I kept thinking, you know, maybe it's my power supply, maybe it's, you know, um, RGBs, like my RGB Corsair RAM is not all in all the way. Um, maybe my motherboard's finally dying, but my motherboard was practically new, you know? Uh, I had all new equipment in my setup and I didn't understand why. Um, if anything, I'll show you what I have as far as my setup. RTX GeForce 3060 Ti beautiful of course the Ryzen 7 as you can see third gen processor um, 3800x it's done me so good especially like you know certain apps uh, everything else as far as you know running multiple software even gaming beautiful not that it should matter but the uh, master liquid ml 24 ol v2 RGB does wonders my computer looks amazing because of it and I feel like I can sync everything up and at least partially have the same colors. There's a certain range when it comes to all your equipment in there as far as lighting. You know, not may not have all the same lighting, may be restricted to certain lights, but this, this bad boy does the job. Motherboard. So you can see the ROG Strix B5, B550F Gaming, excuse me, Wi-Fi motherboard. Got this at a discount on Newegg. Thank you, Newegg. And of course, the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro, so you can see Corsair product, you know, just trying to link everything to this. And my power supply, which is the RM Series RM750 from Corsair. Not RGB though, so I wasn't really worried about the software not working for that. It is what it is. But my computer was doing amazing. Before my 3060 Ti came around, um, which I actually won on a raffle on Newegg. Thank you again, Newegg. Um, everything was working smoothly, and I did, like I said, I didn't think that this, you know, software was going to destroy my computer. I was wrong. I started everything over, and I reinstalled everything. A week later, I got my graphics card, and I thought, you know, my graphics card is RGB now. Why not install the software for it? So, of course, I started with Armory Crate. Armory Crate did me wonders, but it didn't really connect to my RGB Corsair uh, RAM. So what I did is I reinstalled IQ, not thinking anything of it, and immediately I started seeing all the same problems. To the point where it was shutting down on its own, restarting. Um, I couldn't even access Windows, it got really bad. So what I did is I took out everything that had to do with IQ software, deleted it, made sure that everything was wiped off of it, restarted my computer. Um, it did lag a little bit, just kind of like starting up, but honestly it was okay. And I think after a couple, resets uh, my computer actually did very well as far as you know starting up no slow process no restarts no no problems that i used to have and i'm thinking to myself i wonder if anybody else had these problems they did so what i did is i went on the corsair community uh website to see if anything else happened to other people and of course they had similar setups to me if not you know better maybe worse and they were all going through the same problems and i'm not understanding why and i've seen videos on youtube from past years from 2018 till now where I don't understand why they haven't fixed their software. And I don't understand what the actual problem is. You know, I feel like something as small as that as controlling the RGB lights in your case have not, you know, shouldn't be a problem. Like, why would everything fritz to the point where even my graphics card was uninstalled? Like the driver for it, like NVIDIA. And I didn't understand that. Like everything just stopped, RGB lights stopped working. 
um, and it would shut down completely. And I got really scared because I thought, you know, I got to spend hundreds of dollars to the point where I got to re, you know, assemble my computer, take it apart, put everything back new, and test everything, you know, separately. And I thought it was my power supply. No. Ever since I deleted the software, um, I've had no problems, and I never understood why. Corsair, if you're listening, please, for the love of God, fix your, if anything, a free software from your, you know, company where I have some of your items shouldn't be affected by it or anything else on my computer. So I don't understand that. Um, if you guys have had the problems, please, for the love of God, you either use Armory Crate if you have an Asus um, motherboard, it will connect to everything else. RGB lights, I've, I got really lucky actually when I deleted all my IQ software. It basically kept the settings I had from RGB lights for my Corsair uh, RAM. Um, I got lucky. There was nothing else that, you know, affected my computer. But if anything, I was really grateful for that because it looks amazing. It's stunning. But if it actually worked, I would have kept it, which it did not. So Corsair, please. And I'm saving you the trouble now. Just be plain Jane. Don't even worry about the RGB lights. I understand, but it's just an aesthetic. And it's not worth your money or your time or the headache or, you know, being a first time builder like me, this is my first PC. You know, I got really into it last year and it was such a heartache to think that there was something wrong with my PC or mentally thinking that there was something wrong with me doing something on my computer that I wasn't supposed to because I was a beginner. So I was really discouraged, but I'm telling you not to be discouraged. I'm telling you to keep doing what you're doing and build your PC. Because little things like this will happen. PCs are so sensitive when it comes to certain things. You touch it once, you know, something will go out. But, I mean, as long as you maintain it and you do what you're supposed to as far as reading the manuals and everything else, and of course, always learn from YouTube University, um, you'll do great. So just a heads up to all the people out there that are striving to have a beautiful RGB-based, uh, you know, setup. Just think about what you're doing before you do it. And don't be like me and struggle for about a month before I start buying new parts for it. So if you liked everything in this video, I really appreciate a like, follow, subscribe. Um, if you want me to do more videos about this, just to kind of, for new beginners, you know, for people like me, um, this is all new to me. I'm still doing the streaming thing. I'm still doing the YouTube video thing, but maybe together as a community, we can get together and just, you know, work on it because I know as much as probably you do or less and or more, but from each other, we can learn. So. Like I said, don't get discouraged for being a first-time PC builder. And just know that you're doing great. All right? I'll see you around.